Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx, and you are checking out a serum tutorial on ADSR Sounds. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a just kind of a general, kind of a quick tip and trick that you can use or apply really to any sound in serum to kind of create a more lifelike or just a more of like a three-dimensional type of sound. And by three-dimensional, I mean make it feel like it fits into the real world a little bit better. It's not as digital. It's not as synthesized. So we're, let me play this demo real quick, and then we will look at the actual sound. All right, so that's what we're working with. And I did that. I did a really plucky uh, lead on this purple track here for a reason. Uh, it fits with the kind of theme of this tutorial. Now, if you look at my wavetables here, you'll notice that they're kind of jumping up and down. Right, and I actually was on a forum for um, for Serum a while ago, and some people were commenting on how the like promo videos for for uh, Serum or some of the you know the uh, marketing materials they had these oscillators doing that, and some people were saying commenting how that just seems like a gimmick and kind of pointless, but it's not. There's actually a reason why that why a lot of really cool sounds actually will have that kind of. If you look at the actual oscillators and the wavetables, you'll see that there's movement. And there's a reason for that, and, and that's not just with Serum, this is any wavetable synth, but in Serum, you can use these LFOs that are really, really flexible. You can create pretty much any shape you want. You can use them as an envelope, or you can use them as an LFO, sidechain, whatever you'd like to do. In a synth like Massive, for instance, you don't have that option with the LFOs, but you can do similar things with the envelopes. But basically, what, what you're trying to do is you're trying to create movement within the wavetable. Now, if you, I know this might seem very basic, but a lot of people, a lot of presets that I buy myself or that I see other people make or questions or et cetera, they don't do this and it does really help with the lifelike quality of the sound. And it really, it really actually, like if you're not doing this, if you're not moving through the wavetable at all in your sound, you're kind of just using a wavetable synth as a, as a virtual analog synth with more creative waveforms in essence because you're keeping a stagnant you know, waveform. So if it was just this waveform, this is a weird waveform, but if you're not moving through it ever. It's just you're. It's it's kind of emulating like a virtual analog signal. It's just a signal. So what you can do in in Serum, it's really easy. You can just create an LFO shape that's that works with your sound. So this one has a little bit of a ramp up, and then modulate the wave table position just a little bit. So I'm going to clear out of this so you, so you can see how to do this. So we will remove all modulators here, and. All right, all right, so it still sounds cool. It's still a cool sound. But it's, it's, entirely, it, it's, it's entirely predictable, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's do a different shape here. I'm going to go into an LFO. We're going to create just a little bit of a shape like this. And you can get creative with it, do whatever you like. You're going to drag and drop into your, your wavetable position. Now, there are two things that you should be aware of as you're doing this. You should be using a wavetable that has multiple frames or cycles. So this one has 256, so it's a good candidate. If it's just one or two and there's all this space, like this one only has actually a, a, a few uh, really set frames. It was created and then kind of just morphed to go up to 256. You can see this, there's not actually 256. Serum is trying to morph into those 256. So what we're going to do here is... You, you, you want to make sure that you have a wavetable with a lot of information. And then set the wavetable to where you actually like the sound. And then what you're going to do is, by default, Serum will put the wavetable position on the LFO. It'll go both in a, in a positive and negative depth direction. You don't necessarily want that. That's going to give it more of the wobble feel. See how it jumps around constantly? You don't really want that. So what you can do is hold down Option or Alt on your keyboard and hit uh, Shift and then click, and it will get let you do just a, you know unidirectional, uh, positive or mod or negative modulation depth. So we're gonna do positive for. This. And so it's just moving the part of the wavetable frame that we're on or the cycle just a little bit. But you can hear how it's creating some three-dimensional depth and some more lifelike quality. So you, the settings with the LFO, now outside of using oscillators and wavetables that have multiple cycles or frames, you want to make sure that your envelope or your LFO is set to an envelope mode. If it's not, 
if it's set to trigger it's gonna be a little bit less of an effect depending on how quick your rate is but if you set it on envelope you can get more of this just kind of richness factor it won't turn into like a syncopated dubstep type wobble sound but it's a really basic tip and trick that i don't see implemented that much and couple that with that one form i saw saying that this was just a marketing gimmick I thought I would touch on it because I'll do this in Massive all the time and in Steam all the time. It makes the sounds more lifelike. Alright, so if you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.